My name is Francesca Franco. I'm an art curator, um, producer and art historian. And I've been focusing my research and career in the history of computer art, its pioneers, and the development of art and technology. And at one point I got to know one of them personally. This is Vera Molnar, who is a Hungarian born Paris-based artist, born in Hungary in 1924. And she's one of the greatest uh, pioneers of computer art. And she's been exploring this field for over 80 years. At one point, um, I was thinking of curating a large scale exhibition to celebrate the history of computer art for the Venice Biennale. And I wanted to connect these two passions of mine, the, the history of computer art and the city I love the most, Venice. So I started to think at a possible new commission that would connect these two passions of mine. So I decided to commission a new work to one of my favorite pioneers. And that's how this collaboration uh, started. So this collaboration turned out to be one of the greatest experiences for me. And it was about commissioning and producing a new sculpture uh, titled Icon 2020. And this was a collaboration between the glass blower artist from Murano and Vera Molnar. This collaboration and the production of this work ended up being selected uh, by the Venice Biennale as a collateral event. When I started this collaboration with Vera, I started traveling a lot to Paris, where she is based, and I lived in Paris for a few months during lockdown, so I could concentrate on finalizing various bits about this production. And then I kept going to Paris every month uh, to visit Vera, to continue our conversations. It all started as a project that ended up with this Icon 2020 work. But then through these conversations, we started thinking about new artworks to create and it became something larger than just one commission. This is the latest prototype of an artwork. This is based on a painting by Renaissance Venetian painter Vittore Carpaccio. And again, this is something that was inspired by one of our conversations I'm from Venice and when we talked with Vera about my history, my background, she started to think about her memories about Venice. She visited Venice when she was a kid with her parents and she remembers this beautiful painting uh, that she saw at the Galleria dell'Accademia by Carpaccio. This is titled uh, Il Sogno di Sant'Ursula, The Dream of Saint Ursula. And it's a very geometrical work. It is figurative, but all the structural base of this painting is very geometrical. And she wanted to select all the various lines, the vertical, the, the horizontal ones, and the diagonal and the curved lines. And she wanted to do a homage to Carpaccio by layering these lines and creating something new. So when I started talking to Vera, I mean, our friendship um, became stronger and I started to think about my own uh, creativity and my very first background is in fine art and I loved life drawing and while talking to Vera I realized that this is something that I wanted to reconnect with so I've been painting a lot thanks to Vera's inspiration I started finding my own 
<laughs> style as an artist. So I've been painting uh, a lot of watercolors based on life drawing subjects, trying to abstract them and trying to forget all the academic lessons that I learned at school. My connection with Vera started in a very professional way. I first got to know her as a student studying the history of computer art. Then I started to connect with her professionally for my exhibitions. And then this connection moved into something more personal, into a friendship. And so it's, it's becoming something more personal. And I think Vera taught me to be brave and to be fearless when I think about my work. And, and that's how I started to reconnect with my, with my drawings, with my painting. But more generally, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in giving these artists a voice, but I'm also interested in showing younger generations of artists what human creativity can do when technology is involved. So um, I'm trying to see technology as a tool that helps artists to express their creativity.